Hello again, David Barrett from Network for Animals here. I wanted to update you on the latest from Total Chaos. That is our work in Ukraine's war. The town of Kherson has fallen and our partner there, Alexandra, is in a bomb shelter. She hasn't eaten for two days and nor have the animals she feeds. The food is there, but we can't get it to them until there's a lull in the fighting. The Donbass region has also fallen, but our partner there is so far managing to feed the dogs. Prices are rising, food is scarce, we're sending more money. Another of our frontline heroes, Oksana Zerba, is still managing to feed all the dogs in her care, but she needs timber to build additional kenneling because there are so many dogs that need rescuing. We're sending the timber. And our team is on the Polish border helping to run an animal ambulance service. Behind me is Foundation Adder's only big animal ambulance that they currently have. They rely on this one very big animal ambulance to be able to rescue as many animals as possible. They risk their lives to drive across the border into Ukraine where the conflict is currently happening. They sometimes have to go directly into the very dangerous areas. They are risking their lives to save the animals. All the animals we rescue are injured and traumatized and there are so many of them. I have nothing but praise for the people who go into war zones, literally running a gauntlet of death to help animals. And we can't let them down. We need to buy them another ambulance. We have identified a vehicle. If we can raise the money, we can have that vehicle saving animal lives in two days. Please, if you can, donate generously to us today. We really need to get that ambulance up and running as fast as possible. We've never known a situation like this. As the Russians move further and further into Ukraine, the suffering of animals is increasing. We need your help to fight for them. We will not falter. We are going to save every single animal life we can. We need your help to do it. Please give generously today.